Hello everyone, I'm Mike Amberson and welcome to part two of the tutorial on how to register your very own domain name with GoDaddy.com. In part one we simply covered how to create an account at GoDaddy, so if you've already done that or you already have an account at GoDaddy, then there's no need to see that first. However, if you do not have an account yet with GoDaddy, the tutorial on setting up an account is only about two minutes long and it'll only take you about five minutes to complete, so I recommend watching it first. Before we actually register our domain name, though, I want to touch on a couple of important subjects. Uh, the first is search engine optimization, or SEO, in regards to your website address. Uh, whether you are creating a website for your business or your own personal blog, you want to include your name, or the name of your business, or the theme of your website in the name of your website. For instance, if I was creating a website for designer shoes, I'm not going to call it ChristmasCookies.com or something like that. I might call it uh, DesignerShoes.com or DesignerShoesForYou.com. So keep that in mind when you're choosing your domain name. Uh, the second thing I wanted to touch on is website hosting. Uh, once you've got your domain name, you're going to need to have it hosted somewhere. Uh, you can afford it um, temporarily, but ultimately you want to have your own website. And ha in order to do that, you're going to have to have it hosted somewhere. Now, GoDaddy offers very reliable hosting, but I'm actually going to recommend a different hosting company eventually. So as we go through this tutorial, I'm not going to be bundling the hosting with the purchase of the domain name. So I just wanted to give you a heads up there. Uh, now, what this means for you today is that it's going to cost a little bit more, a very, very little bit more. But in the long run, this could save you money, especially if you're planning on having more than one website. Okay, so if you're ready, we'll go ahead and get going. In part one, we signed up for a GoDaddy account, and when you first signed up, GoDaddy sent you an email that probably looks something like this. Um, it's just a, a thank you for um, creating your account with GoDaddy, and it has your general account information there. Uh, now, if you just got done watching the first part of this tutorial, then you may already still be at GoDaddy and logged in. However, if you're not uh, if this is what you're looking at, we're going to go ahead and click into the login to get started. Uh, when you click there, it's going to take you right here. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and, and log in. Now, if you are already at GoDaddy, don't log out because we're going to end up right where you are. Okay, so now you're logged in. And again, if you're still at GoDaddy, the the screen that you ended up on when you first created your account, my account over here is actually where you currently are. So that's where we're going to get everybody to start off with. Um, so if this is where you are, everybody, then what we're going to do from here, now you can see that this is the, the account that I usually use. We're going to click on this upper right hand or upper left hand corner here just click at godaddy.com and again this is going to looks like we're kind of going back and forth but I want to get everybody on the same page so now it's time to go ahead and search and see if the domain name that we want is already taken or if it's going to be available to us so what we do is right here where it says search for a new domain we'll click there and type in the name of the domain that you want, your website name. Now you don't have to put in the .com at all uh, or the www, just the, the, the center part there. Uh, for the purposes of this we are going to say um, getting your first website .com and click search. Now if it's available this is what you're going to get. If the website name that you want is already taken, it will say that it's not available, but it will give you the opportunity or the option of taking a .net or .us, as you can see down here. For today's purposes, I'm just going to stick with the .com and we're going to move on from here. Now, eventually you may want to get these other extensions, but for today, again, we'll just stick with the .com. We're going to add it to our cart. and now we'll see one domain pending registration. From here we're going to go ahead and continue to registration. 
Now, GoDaddy is the king of upselling. Uh, they always want to offer you everything that you can possibly have, but again, today we are just registering a domain, a single domain, and we're going to go from here. We're going to say no thanks, which is going to bring us to this page. Now, they're going to offer you groups or a segment of time larger than one year. When we're first starting out, just to keep the price low, we're going to go one year. And again here, they're going to offer you more options to certify the domain or keep it uncertified. In case you want to read this, this explains what a certified domain is. But again, we're not going to go with that. So we click next. Again, here, more options. We're going to skip them, go with just the standard, what's in our cart. Again, they're offering you more and more options, email, all kinds of good stuff. But again, we're just getting the domain name today. And that brings us here. Now, here's we're just reviewing what's in our card. It gives you one last option to give you some of the more popular domain extensions, the .org and .net, as we see here. Unless you want those, we don't need those at this time. We can always come back and get those later if we want for branding purposes. But unless your website is getting really huge and you want to make sure that nobody kind of cuts in on your hard work and, and gets traffic to their site because of the hard work you've put in on your site, you don't have to worry about that today. So we'll continue to check out. And this is where it takes us to put in our final payment information. Um, now we'll fill this out and you can select whatever payment method you want, credit card, gift card, check, PayPal, uh, however you want to pay for it and fill in the information accordingly. Now I already have an account, so I'm going to use my account information. And I already have a credit card on file. Uh, since this may be a new account for you, you'll go ahead and fill this information out. And then we'll make sure that we have read and agreed to the terms and conditions and place our order now. And that brings us here. Now this is actually the final page in the process. Um, again, GoDaddy's, they, they upsell. Um, they try to offer you everything that you could possibly want. So that's where all of this down here comes in. But you don't need any of this. We are actually done. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to my account up here. And if this is your first domain, you should see it listed right here. Um, mine is listing some of my older domain names here. And from here, we're going to take one final step, and that's to forward our domain name. Uh, this is in case you have an affiliate website, uh, a company replicated website. Until you get yours up and running, you can forward it to that affiliate domain name. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to our domain manager here. You can click here, or if that option isn't available to you, right up here, domain manager. Now again, if this is your first domain name, you're only going to have the one listed in here. The one we're working with today for the purposes of this tutorial is getting your first website.com. So we're going to select that one, which opens up our options across the top. And you'll see this option right here is forward. So we're going to forward domain. And we are going to forward it to your affiliate site. Now your affiliate site is going to be uh, something like www.youraffiliatewebsite.com forward slash question mark u equals username uh, something along those lines so in order to make things simple we're just gonna put in the site that you want to forward it to in my case I'm going to forward it to my blog website for now 
you'll put in your affiliate website at this point and click OK. OK again and it's going to take a few minutes so I'm going to pause the recording for just a moment it will be instantaneous for you. Okay, I promised it would be instantaneous to you, and it has been. However, it's been about an hour, right at an hour, since I paused the recording, and it's just taken effect. So now I want to show you what happens when you type in the domain name that you just purchased and forwarded to your affiliate website or whatever website you chose to forward it to. So we're going to open up a new browser window here, and we are going to type in the name of the website that you just purchased, your new domain name. In my case, it was gettingyourfirstwebsite.com. As you can see, I've already done this, but I want to show you what happens. So, and voila, it takes you to the website that you forwarded it to. In your case, it's going to be your affiliate website or whatever website you chose. I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you would, please feel free to leave comments, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much, and have a great day.